What's up, guys? This episode is brought to you by D1G Apparel. D1G Apparel is a faith-based clothing company created by yours truly, D number one G. Uh, we got them faith hats. We got them the line of Judah shirts. You know what I'm saying? We got the faith and believe shirts. We got uh, uh, we got them Jesus water shirts. The game over hoodies. And yes, we got them. Uh, uh, we got them believe shoes. That's right. Your boy designed some shoes. Go check it out at d1gapparel.com. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Well, so late. <laughs> we usually say it on time. I know we do. We do. Good. Wait. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> hope everybody's having a great day, a great yes. time. I hope you are being blessed and you're about to be even more blesser. Yes. Bless. Blesser. Blessy. No, blessy because God is the blesser. So mm. you'd be blessed. The blessy. The blessy. The blessy. You know? So, blessy. but uh, yeah. No. Uh, we're going to have a good time. Uh, today, we are talking about attitude of gratitude. Attitude of gratitude. Attitude of gratitude. Attitude of gratitude. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it. I am excited for this word this morning. I am so happy that you guys are joining us this morning. I'm so glad that you guys chose to be with us this morning. You guys could be anywhere else, but you guys chose to be here so yes, good morning and hit that share button. Share this with your family and friends. Amen. Yeah. Don't be stingy. Yeah. Don't be stingy with the word. Man. Share the word. <laughs> don't be stingy, man. Amen. Share it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, like always, if you have any prayer requests or anything, let us know. Let us know in the comments or send us a private message or email yes. us. You can go on the website, davidcomesministries.com. Yes. Right there. Or mm -hmm. you can click the link that's on uh, down at the description. Yes. Or up at the, I don't know how it works. We don't know if it's up. Depending on, your, on YouTube. Or, <laughs> no, I think they're both down. I think they're both down. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you can click on that link and it shows all our stuff. Yes. Go to Spotify. Check out the podcast. We're starting a new podcast. Mm -hmm. So that's coming really soon, guys. Yes. That's what the, um, it's called D number one G and friends. And friends. And that's just going to be a, a podcast about talking with different artists and stuff like that. But this one that you're watching, you might be watching it on Spotify. This mm -hmm. one is David Gomez Ministries. So you can yes. find this one and it's it's got all the sermons, all the preachings. Yeah. Um, but if you want the other stuff, go to go in and also subscribe to both of them. Yes. All Amen. Right? Amen. So, I but yeah, excited. got some good things coming. Some yes. music pretty soon. A book, yes, you know, pretty yes. soon, hopefully, you know, keep me in prayer. Yes. And absolutely. Um, so, yeah, a lot of a lot of great things are happening. But today we're talking about attitude of gratitude. And before attitude we get into it, let's pray. OK. You want me to pray? Us yeah. Pray All us right. Lord Jesus, we just want to thank you, Father God, for a blessed morning that we woke up this morning to Lord God. And Sorry. Lord, we just ask <clears throat> that you just. <clears throat> Open up our eyes and our ears and our minds, Lord God, and our hearts, Lord God, to be able to receive this word today, Father God, from you, Lord. And Lord, we ask that it bless our life, Father God. And yes, God. Lord, we just ask that you just bless everyone out there, Lord God. And Lord, that you just touch those that need healing, Father God. And, and Lord, we just thank you for everything that you're about to do in our yes, lives, Lord, Lord God. And, and we just thank you for everything. In your precious name, amen. 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 Today we are talking about attitude of gratitude. All right. You have to be thankful with the little things. Yes. And and, and when you're thankful with the little things, God will bless you with bigger things. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Because you're 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 faithful. Yes. But you have to be thankful in this life for all the little things. And I, and, and I'm here to remind you this morning because we tend to forget. Yes. 
just about being thankful for the little things. That's right. We tend to forget those things. That's right. You know, just yep. the air that we breathe this morning. I mean, yeah. you know, that's right. Like we are lucky to be able to breathe fresh air. That's right. And we take it for granted. That's right. So I'm here to remind you this morning and God's word is about to remind you to be thankful for the little things, to have an attitude of gratitude, because when you have an attitude of gratitude, God will begin to bless you. Yes. Even more. That's right. When you're crying and complaining and whining and, you know, about every little thing, then how can God bless you? Yes. He can save you. If you're crying, whining and complaining, he can still save you. He can still help you. But the blessings come from being grateful. That's right. You know, yeah. it's like a little kid. You don't you don't want to <clears throat> reward bad behavior. Right. You know, right. And, 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 and that's the same thing. So sometimes we're going through things, but before we get into it, let me tell you this attitude shapes the place you work at. Mm, okay. Okay. Attitude, your attitude shapes the place you work at. That's right. And you're like, well, my boss's attitude is nasty. Well, that's fine. Right. Your attitude can be better towards your coworkers and friends, people that are working with you. Right. 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 Just because you have a terrible boss doesn't mean that you got to be terrible. You know what I'm saying? Your attitude shapes the home you live in. Mm. That you know is that? true. You know what I'm saying? That is right? true. Yeah. Your attitude shapes the home you live in. Your attitude shapes the environment of your family. Mm. Right? Yes. Because let me tell you something. Uh, uh, a lot of you guys have attitude kids. Well, I'm here to tell you that attitude comes from their parents. Mm -hmm. That's right. Now, I know you don't want to hear that, <laughs> but we're shaping them. We're molding our kids. And as they're growing up, they're taking parts of what we show to them. Right. They, they, they eventually make their own, yeah. you know, their own character. Right. But they're taking parts of what we show them. So if you're always cussing, then that's they're going to grow up cu cussing, right? Right, right? If you're always complaining about things, then they're going to grow up complaining about things. Right. If you're always being thankful to God and if, if they're always seeing you praying to God, then they're going to grow up and pray to God. Yes. Yes. Now, they might forget about God for a minute at a time, but the Bible says if if. If you show them, if you if, if you are showing them, yes. if you're training your child how they should act, how they should praise God, then eventually they will always come back to it because yes. you have showed them. Yes, that's right. You're training their brain. You're 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 shaping them. You're molding them, yes. just like God is trying to shape us and mold us. Yes. In this life. That's right. So your attitude reflects your your marriage. Yep. That's right. Your spouse, your significant significant other, and 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 you can say, "Well, she's got she's got an attitude." <laughs> well, you picked her. <laughs> you picked her for a reason. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like my wife is spicy, man, <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> like, don't let her fool you. Yeah, she's beautiful. She's nice. She's intelligent. She's all those things, <laughs> but she can get an attitude. <laughs> yeah and so can i right yes you can i'm i listen i'm i'm way way worse than her you know what i'm saying but i think we're pretty equal you think so yeah i think once you get down to it we're pretty equal you know but that's funny you know i like a little spice so hey yeah i'm mexican <laughs> Oh, I love it. You know, you can't, you, you, you got to have some salsa in there. You got to yeah. have some spice. Mm -hmm. You got to have some chili. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't want to deal with anybody else's attitude but yours. Yeah. <laughs> but at the end of the day, we come together and, and yes. we, 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 we look at what God says. And that's why our marriage works because our attitude, we're like, okay, God, did I do something wrong? Did I, did right. I, you know what I'm saying? Did I hurt her feelings? And, and God always corrects me like, hey, man, you're being rude. Like, yeah, oh, God, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, and then I got to go apologize to my wife, right? Yeah. 
So that's what works, but our attitude. And so our attitude is reflecting the world around you. Yes, that's right. You know, that's right. And, and, and here's, let, let's go to, let's go to some scriptures because here's what I want to get to. All right. We're going to go to, uh, uh, Luke 17, verse 11, Luke 17, verse 11. You want to read that? Yeah, I can read it. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so Luke 17, verse 11. Now on his way to Jerusalem, Jesus traveled along the border between Samaria and Galilee. As he was going into the village, 10 men <clears throat> who had leprosy met him. They stood at a distance and called out in a loud voice, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. When he saw them, he said, go show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. One of them, when he saw, he was healed. Come back, praising God in a loud voice. He threw himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him. And he was a Samaritan. Okay. He said one of them, when he, he saw he was healed, came back. Mm-hmm. You know, and so go ahead. So one of them, there was 10, right? Right. There was 10 with leprosy. One of them comes back. Watch this. Go ahead. Finish it. Praising God in a loud voice, he threw himself at Jesus's feet and thanked him. And he was a Samaritan. Jesus asked, where not all 10 cleansed? Were not all 10 cleansed. <laughs> not where. Were. were. Yeah. Were not all 10 cleansed cleansed where are the other nine has no one returned to give praise to god except this foreigner then then he said to him rise and go your faith has made you well okay go ahead change mm -hmm. it okay so here's the point right yeah. there's there's 10 that 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 were crying out for mercy for God to heal them from leprosy. Right. There was no cure of leprosy back in those days, guys. Right. So you have to realize this is a deadly disease. It's going to take right. over your, your whole life. And then they were shunned from the town. They couldn't they couldn't visit their friends, their relatives. Right. They had to go into the caves, into uh, the outskirts of the town, and they had to survive on their own and just die. Okay? So there's 10 of them. They're crying out to Jesus. Jesus heals them all. Yeah. Only one comes back and, and thanks him. Yeah, that's crazy. Right? That's crazy. What attitude are we bringing to God? Mm. What kind of a praise are we bringing to God after he has saved us so many times, after he has, has guided our lives so many times, after he has delivered us from sin so many times, are we coming back and saying, are we praising him? Right. Or are we complaining about the little things? Right. 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 Are we like these other nine just walking away and never coming back to God and saying, well, he did, he did it for me, but I'm good now, God. Right. You see what I'm saying? That's Only crazy. one had an attitude of gratitude mm. that came back. Only one. I'm wow. asking you today, will you be that one? Can you be that one today? Yes. To have that attitude just like this man. Praise and then God. what did Jesus say? Rise and go. Your faith has made you well. Your faith. Yes. I guarantee you that one. See, because Jesus told him, rise and go. Your faith has made you well. Mm -hmm. You see, the other the other nine could have went back and into their lifestyle and everything and then got got leprosy again. Right. But this one that came back was blessed beyond measures because he came back. Yeah. He got closer to Jesus, mm. not further away from Jesus. Amen. Sometimes Jesus will deliver you. Sometimes God will deliver you from, from things and you begin to get further away instead of closer to him. Yeah. Can you be just like this one and get closer to him? Yes. Can you be just like this one and praise God and sit at his feet and, and learn from Jesus and learn from the yes. Bible and be praising and worshiping God? Can you be that one? Yes. Come on. That's all God is requiring. Just be that one. Yes. That's Will right. you be that one? Whew. Thank you. See, Jesus. because a lot of times we start complaining and I want you to understand that the attitude of gratitude goes a long way. Yes. Right. We start complaining. 
Yeah. We start complaining about the little things. Yep. Oh, I got to clean up my house. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got I got to do the dishes. Yeah. Oh, I got to clean up my car. Oh, I have to go to work. Yeah. Oh, I have to take my children here. Mm -hmm. I have to take them over here. I have to do this. I have to. Do no, no, no. You get to do it. Yeah, that's right. Instead of instead of saying I have to go to work, I have to clean up my house, I have to do my laundry, I have to do these. No, no, no. You get to do this. Mm -hmm. I get to clean my laundry. I get to clean my house. You know that I am so blessed that I have a house. There's a lot of people out there that don't have a home, that don't have a car, that don't have kids. They are praying for a miracle to receive a kid, a child yes. into this world, but they cannot have it because of medical things that, that, that are going wrong with them. And yet we complain about taking our kids here or there or that. Mm -hmm. Right? That's right. No, no, no. You get to. Yes, you get to. You are so blessed that you get to take your kid here. Yep, that's right. You are so blessed that you get to come home and, and clean your house. Yes. You are so blessed that you, you, you get to uh, make dinner, a home-cooked meal, because there's a lot of homeless people out there that are not happy. They're digging through trash cans. Yeah, that's right. So we get to. That's right. Yes. So instead of saying, I have to do this. No, no, no. Begin to praise God by saying, I get to do this, yes. God. Thank you for this. Thank yes. you for this little blessing. Amen. Thank you for my kids. Amen. Because one day they're going to grow up and then you're, ne you're not hardly ever going to see them. And you're going to complain like, oh, you don't come to the house anymore. You don't visit me anymore. But yet when you had them here with you, you were complaining about having to do a bunch of stuff for them. That's right. No, we get to. Yes. Have a get to attitude. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Change those words. Yes. And then someone's like, oh, man, really? I get to go to work? Like, you know what? Yes. Yes, because there's somebody in the hospital bed looking out the window, just wishing he could go back to work. Yeah. Just wishing he was stuck in traffic one more time. Right. 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 See, you get to be stuck in traffic. And I know that sucks sometimes, but there's somebody out there that cannot do that any longer. Right. And they wish one more time that they would get to go to work. Yep. They wish one more time that they would be healthy enough to drive themselves somewhere, yep. healthy enough to go back to work for one day, to sweat it out outside. But yet they're stuck in the hospital bed dying right now. Right. Right. We get to, guys. We, you, oh, I have to get up and do these chores. No, no, no. You get to. You're able. Thank God that you're physically able to go to work. Thank God that you're physically able to get up this morning. Yes. Thank God that you're physically able to drive yourself to do these things. Yeah, that's right. Right? Yeah. I heard this saying that, you know, it's, it's, it's like a story, and I don't know exactly how it goes, mm -hmm. but I'm going to tell it this way. Okay. There's a person in, in, in a hospital bed that can't get up, and he's looking at the wheelchair man saying, man, I wish I was that guy in a wheelchair. Uh-huh. And then the, the, that guy in the wheelchair is, is looking at another person that's in a... a in one of those, what, what are those? The walker. In a walker. Mm -hmm. The guy in the wheelchair is looking at the guy in the walker saying, man, I wish I could be in that walker. I mm -hmm. wish I was that guy. Yeah. The guy in the walker is looking at somebody that's just walking. Right. You know, with a little bit of a limp, but he's walking by himself. And he's saying, man, I wish I could be that guy. Right. The guy walking with a little bit of a limp and his body aches and hurts, but he's still walking by himself is looking at somebody running. Right. You know, and he's like, man, I wish I could be that guy. Yeah. The thing is, be thankful for what you have. Yes. The moral of the story is, yeah, you could always be doing better. I understand that somebody is doing better than you, but be thankful for what you have yes. because somebody else is looking at you like you're blessed. I right. wish I had a trailer to live in. That's right. That's right. Right. I wish I had a bicycle. Right. Somebody that's walking around. I wish I had some kids. Right. I wish I had a home. Yeah. I wish I had a husband. 
I wish I had a wife. Right. I wish I had some family. Right? Right. I wish I was able to breathe on my own because I'm in an oxygen tank. Right. See, you got to be thankful for the little things. Yeah. And we forget that. Yep. The only reminder is when it's all completely taken away. Yep, that's right. When you're in a hospital bed, you're like, wow, I was really blessed. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's right. Let's go to the next verse. Watch this. Okay. All right. Go ahead and read it. Uh, First Thessalonians 518. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God and Christ Jesus for you. Okay. This is the will for you. This is the will of God. Yeah. What? That you give thanks. Right. In all situations. Yeah, that's right. Give thanks. Yes. You know, Job gave thanks. Even through all the mess that he was going through in the Bible, read the book of Job. If you think you have problems, read the book of Job, yeah, guys. Yeah, no kidding. But even he he gave thanks, right? Yes, he did. Even he gave praises. He said, the Lord give it, the Lord take it away, but I will praise God. Yeah, that's right. And I'm paraphrasing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Jesus gave thanks to God. Even though he knew he was about to go to the cross, he was giving thanks and praise to God. Yeah, that's saying, right. God, if there's any other way, but if not, let your will be done. Yeah, I'm ready for this. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The apostle Paul gave thanks. Uh, 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 Peter gave thanks. All these these the, these disciples that died a terrific death, and and most of them died a terrific death. You know. Uh huh. But they gave thanks to God. You know what I'm saying? Watch, go go to the next uh, verse. Okay. The next one is Psalms 104. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. Praise his name. What is that saying? Enter his gates. Yes. Right? Yes. With what thanksgiving. It with thanksgiving. And his courts with praise. And his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. So as you come into worship, before you get into worship, before you get into asking God of anything. Right. Thank him. Mm. Come on. When you get into your prayer closet, you begin to ask God for things. Before you begin to ask things, when you're getting into prayer, before before you ask him of anything, you should be thanking him. That's right. This is what David was saying in the Psalms. Yes. I'm going to enter with thanksgiving. Yes. I'm going to enter into God's spirit with thanksgiving, first of all. Yes. Praise God. And then I'm going to start praising him. Yes. So see, David, David, the Bible said that David was a man after God's own heart. You, you want to be so close to God that God begins to bless you abundantly. Take these words. Mm. When you begin to, 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 to pray or when you come to God, thank him first mm. and then start praising him. Amen. Before you ask for whatever you want to ask for, thank him and start praising him. Mm. Yes. See, that's an attitude of gratitude. Yes. David knew what he was talking about. Yes. He had an attitude of gratitude. That's right. And that's why God took him from a, a poor shepherd boy that everybody overlooked. Right. Into defeating. I mean, he def he fought a lion. He fought a bear. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then he fought Goliath. Yeah. When everybody else was scared. Yeah. And then he became a king. Right? Yeah. Why? Because he had that attitude of gratitude. Yes. He was always praising God. He was always thanking God wherever he went. Even when he made mistakes, he came back and thanked and praised God. Yes. 
even when he had to be punished for those mistakes. Right. You see what I'm saying? He still came back, asked for forgiveness. Thank God. Mm. And praise God. Amen. What is your attitude at? Amen. We should be having an attitude of gratitude wherever we go. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Praise Watch, go God. to the last one. All right. The last one is, is, is it Colossians? Did yeah, Col okay. Colossians, Colossians. Colossians, okay. 317. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Thank you, Jesus. So whatever you're doing, right? Yep. Do it in the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes. Giving thanks to God the Father through him. Yes. Whatever you're doing in life, be thankful. Yes. In, in, in your job. Yes. And you're like, well, I don't even like my job, Pastor David. I, 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 I don't even want to be there. And I understand that. Be thankful to God. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I'm not saying, oh, you got to thank God for this terrible job or thank God for your terrible boss. But no, no, no. You could be thanking God that he's about to promote you, yes. that, that even though people are against you, God's about to bless you. Yes. Or maybe God's going to find you a better job. Come See, on. instead of having that attitude like, oh, I hate this, this and this sucks and all this. Right. You should be thanking God every morning. OK, God, I know you're going to make a way. That's I right. know you're going to make a way for me to rise up above this 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 situation. I know you're going to make a way for me to find a better job, yes. a better pay, or a, you should be thanking him. Turn those, those, those things upside down. And instead of complaining, have an attitude of gratitude and be thankful for what God is about to do. Because yes. when we're thankful for what God is about to do, then he will make it happen that's because right. he will see you and say, that's, that's my servant right there, yes. that he is faithful to me. You see how he's praising me, even though he's in this situation, you see how, you see how he's thanking me, even though he's walking the way he's going through in all those situations, I'm about to bless him because he yes. has an attitude that I love. Oh. Come on, somebody. Come on. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Change that, you know? And I understand that, that, the enemy, you know, you're being attacked. Let, let's just say you are being attacked by the enemy, right? Yeah. But you got to understand something. That the enemy can only try to scare you yeah, from your destination. That's right. Yeah, that's He right. cannot stop you. That's right. From receiving your blessings from God. That's right. He has no authority to stop you. He can only scare you. And, and, and he'll use scare tactics for, for you to try to uh, turn away from God. Because things are not happening the way you want them to happen. Yep. But don't you know, sometimes you're this close to getting to your very blessing and you don't see it. Mm. And a lot of times we stop. Mm. See, the enemy can only discourage you. But he cannot stop God. Mm. He cannot stop God's blessings right. in your life. That's right. He cannot stop what God has decided to do with you in his That's life. That's right. Your destination cannot be stopped. That's right. By the enemy. That's right. You can prolong it. Yeah. You can prolong God's blessing by stopping when God tells you to keep on moving forward. Yeah. Because God's like, man, you only have one more mile to your blessings. Mm -hmm. But you're like, oh, I'm tired. No, this the enemy has attacked me. So I'm just going to sit here and not do nothing anymore. Yeah. And God's like, man, you're right there. Right. You're right there. Keep on going. You know, and the devil just tries to discourage you. Yeah. But he has the enemy has no authority over your life. Yeah. He could just discourage you. He tells you lies. That's right. When you start having that at, that attitude of gratitude, you're like, I know I'm going through it, but I'm going to thank God anyways. Yes. I know I'm tired, but God's going to give me the strength. Yes. I know I'm, 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 I'm having a lot of pain, but I know God can heal me. 
I, I, I know I have cancer, but I know God's the deliverer. Yes. I, I, I know I, my marriage ain't working that good, but I, I know God's going to bring it together. Yes. I, I know that I'm not making the money that I should, but I, 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 I know that God's about to bless me. Yes. You see, you get begin to have that attitude of gratitude. Keep on moving forward. Keep on going forward and say, God, I know that you're about to bless me abundantly. I know that you're about to make a miracle. I know that you're about to produce a breakthrough yes. in my life. I know that you're about to do it, God. So Come praise on. be to God. Yes. His holy name. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Thank See, you, somebody Jesus. should be shouting hallelujah right now. Yes. Somebody should be saying amen right now. Yes. Hallelujah. Somebody should be saying, thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Yes. That's the attitude that we should be having. Because mm -hmm. when we have that attitude, God can produce miracles. Yeah. You're allowing God to produce miracles in your life by your attitude. When you say, oh, well, God can't do it for me. Mm -hmm. God's sitting there like, yeah, I can, but it's, it's, you, you got to tag me in. Yeah. Yep. Have you ever seen wrestling? And that guy's like, come on, tag me in. I can help you. <laughs> right. Tag me in. Right. Come on. I saw God is sometimes with, with some of your guys' life. Mm -hmm. He's like, come on, tag me in, dude. Right. <laughs> I will work miracles in your life. Tag me in. But you're like, no, nah, no, nah, God, I don't have time for you. Mm hmm. I could do it myself. Yeah, and you're getting beat up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You ever seen wrestling? That's how it is. He's all getting beat up, and then he's got to tag the partner. Yeah, yeah. The partner comes in and starts, bam, bam. <laughs> <laughs> he starts kicking people off the ring, throwing one guy off. That's how Jesus is, man. Like, just tag him in. Just tag him in. Tag him in, sister. <laughs> tag him in, brother. Come on. Amen. <laughs> Jesus Praise is God. sitting on the sideline like, come on, come on. I'm ready to go. Tag me in. Come <laughs> on. You know? Yeah. <laughs> but you guys are complaining. Uh, you see what I'm going through, God? Well, tag him in. Yeah. Say, God, thank you. Thank you that you're about to help me. Thank you that you're about to bless me. Yes. Thank you that you're about to produce a miracle. Yes. Thank you that you're about to save my family member. Thank you that I'm about to defeat this 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 uh, insecurities. Thank you that I'm about to defeat this, the, the, this mental illness. Thank you, God, that I'm about to overcome all these things, mm -hmm. right? Uh, overcome all these issues. Thank you, God, that you're fixing my life. Yes. Thank you that you're making it work. Thank yes. you that you're about to turn it around. Thank you that I'm breaking an addiction right now. Thank you, God. Yes. I don't know what you're going through, but begin to thank him yes. wherever you're at right now. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord. I yes. thank you for my family. I thank you for my beautiful wife. I thank you for my home. I thank you for my kids. I thank you for the many blessings. And I'm just speaking for myself right, right now. I thank you, Lord. I thank you that I'm so blessed. I thank you that, thank that, you, that, that I can I can walk. I thank you that I can breathe. I thank you that you woke me up this morning, Lord God. I thank you for that. For, because if you're still here, if you're still here, mm -hmm. understand that some people didn't wake up this morning. That's right. A lot of people are gone. That's and right. if you're still here, that means God is not done with you yet. That's right. He's still doing a miracle in your life. Mm. Will you allow him? Mm. You know, this, this actually brings me to a story. Um, it's actually a post that, uh, that a young lady had made on TikTok. She's probably in her early twenties and she was like, I'm the only one that's saved in my family. Amen. And she wakes up one morning to her mom praising and worshiping the Lord through worship music. Amen. And she just stood there with tears rolling down her face. Amen. Thanking God that he has used her to save her mom. That's it. To save her family. That's it. Amen. So that the so the point of attitude of gratitude of being like, I'm the only one saved in my family, but I can save the rest of them. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's right. Praise you know, God. you should be having that attitude. Not like, oh, you see what they're, you see how they act, God. Exactly. I'll be like, okay, thank God Yeah. that you're working through me. Yes. 
thank you, Lord, that you're working through me. Yes. They ain't acting right, but I'm going to act right. That's right. And, and, and it's going to show them. You know how many people tested me? Once I became a Christian, man, they, they used to mm -hmm. test me. At work, they used to test me. Oh, <laughs> you're, you're talking about God now? Weren't you yeah. that guy always fighting, always talking mess and all this? Right. Like, now you're talking about God? They used to test me, man. Yeah. You know? But and sometimes I passed, sometimes I didn't. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> okay? I'm going to be honest. <laughs> but uh, through it all, some of them saw, man, you know what? You, you are changing, dude. You're different. And I remember one co-worker told me, he's like, you know, I have to test you, man, because... And, and in his own way, he, he thought he was doing a good thing, which uh -huh. maybe God was using him to test me, mm. you know? Yeah. But he meant well, but he's like, yeah, I, I got I got to test you, dude, you know, to see if you're real or what. Uh -huh. And I remember after so many tests, he told me that, you know? That's crazy. And he's like, I, I can see the difference in you, man. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So, but let God use you. Have Amen. an attitude of gratitude, guys. That's yes. it. That's it. We're about to get out of here. We're about to pray. But begin to have an attitude of gratitude. Begin yes. to thank God for the little things. Thank God for for your food. I don't. I don't even care if it's a frozen dinner. Thank God for that. Amen. You know Amen. what I'm saying? There's homeless people digging out in trash cans. Just just thank God for that. Frozen taquitos. Right. You know. Yeah. I mean, thank God for the little things, guys. Thank yeah. God for fresh water. We have an abundance of fresh water, and there's yes. some there's some places over the world that they don't have fresh water. That's right. Yeah. We take it for granted, man. We turn on the shower for 30 minutes at a time. And you know what I'm saying? There's people that would love to do that. Yeah, that's right. So just begin to thank God for the little things. Amen. Have that attitude. Yes. Amen. Let's do this. Yes. Dear God, we just want to thank you for everything that you're doing, Lord God. We want to thank you for the abundance of blessings that you have blessed of our lives. We want to thank you for all the times that you saved our lives, even though yes, we didn't even you, know Lord. that you were saving our lives, Lord yes. God. We want to thank you for, for all the many close calls that you were saving us mm. that we did not know. All the things that, yes. that you were keeping us away from danger that we didn't even know, God. So we want to thank you for all the things that, that, that we see and all the things that are unseen yes. in the spiritual realm that yes. you're doing for us, Lord God. Thank we want to thank God. you for never leaving us nor forsaking us, yes, Lord God. You, Lord. That even though sometimes we can't hear you, we know that you're still there, Lord God. Yes. Lord God, we want to thank you for, for, for the addictions being broken right yes. now, Lord God. Thank the you, deliverance God. being Hallelujah. delivered right now, Lord God. For, Lord for the people that are being healed right yes, now, Lord, Lord God. For the yes, people that Lord. are receiving miracles right now, Lord God. Yes, Lord. For the people that are receiving blessings, that yes. blessings are about to hit your life yes. in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank for finances you, to be to to mm. to be taken up higher that, yes. that that God's about to bless you in your home and your finances yes. and your jobs and, and and about to take you to a promotion right now yes. in the mighty Thank name you, that that you may be able to give more to God and 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 be a blessing to others yes. in the mighty name of Jesus Thank you, you Jesus. that have that heart to give but you're like I don't have enough God's about to bless you mm. yes thank you lord God's about to bless you so you can be a blessing in yes. the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Somebody that's in the hospital bed right now that, that, that their leg is hurting. We rebuke that pain yes. right now in the mighty name of yes. Jesus. Thank Cancer you, be Lord. gone in the yes. mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Headaches be gone in the mighty name of Jesus mm. right now. Come Deliver on. right now from those that are having pain and Thank headaches. You, Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, Thank you, we Jesus. receive your blessings. We receive your healing right now, Lord God. Let yes. your will be done upon Hallelujah. our lives. Yes. We thank you, Lord God, for this beautiful day. Yes. In your precious name. Amen. 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 Thank you, God Jesus. God bless you guys. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for being a part of this ministry. If you would like to give and donate and be in partner with us to reach more people, to do what we're doing, right? Uh, because your partner, share. First of all, share. Yeah, that's a, that's a big. You're part of this ministry when you're sharing the word. Yes, that's a big thank you. You know what I'm saying? Yes. But if you have the heart to give and you want to do more, then right there, yes. go to uh, Cash App Dollar Sign David Gomez Ministries. As you can see, we have some new mics. Thank you guys yes. for for the blessings. Yes. And 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 we're just continuing to to do better in this ministry yes. to 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 just you know we're 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 on Spotify we're on YouTube 
you know, and different platforms and stuff like that. And, and there's people that I can see that are reaching, you know, in like Spotify are reaching like in Germany yes. in different countries, people here on Facebook reach different people. It's it, just the different platforms reach all yes. over the world, yes. which is amazing. Yes, you know, it is amazing. We are so, so thankful. And those that give, you're part of that. That's right. You're reaching the world with us, yes. man. You are a blessing. Yes. Understand, you're a yes. big part of that. Praise God. It wouldn't happen if you guys didn't didn't give. That's it wouldn't right. happen if you guys wouldn't be part of this ministry. That's right. If you guys didn't share the word. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. So thank you for uh, uh, encouraging me. You yes. know. Pray for me as I pray for you. Yes. And uh, all the prayers we're going to get to. Yes. And, uh, uh, you know, if you want to send us a private message, send us a private message. Absolutely. And, um, you know, like we said before, just so you know, you know, at the beginning we have uh, uh, we have the D1G apparel. At the end of this, we'll have, so stick around mm -hmm. for the Let's Fly uh, products. Yes. Just check it out. Some very healthy products. Yes. And we do all that because it's easier to edit. So I don't have yes. to spend hours and hours and hours of editing. Yes. And I could just take this and put it on the, on yes. the Spotify. We got a really so, good system going on. And so we're yes. thankful for that. Thankful that my husband doesn't have to be so stressed out all the time trying to edit everything. <laughs> so <laughs> we are so thankful for everything. So, yeah. yes. So keep on praying for me as I pray for you guys. Yes. Go make the this is the day that the Lord has made. Yes. Go make the best out of it. Amen. Be a blessing. Amen. Yes. Have an attitude of gratitude today. An attitude of and gratitude. And be blessed. Yes. God bless you guys. Stick around. Bye. Bye. This episode is brought to you by Let's Fly Products. Let's Fly Products is focused on a natural, organic way to help you be the best you and live a healthier life. Guys, go get your lion's mane. I do that. I do the lion's mane. It's a supplement, and it's great for your focus, your mental clarity. It's just great for your brain. It'll give you a brain boost. Uh, I also take the, the chaga. It's good for your health. Um, they also have this thing called cordyceps. Cordyceps is good for working out. Um, they also have some great coffee with a combination of the lion's mane and the chaga in it. So it's not just a coffee. It's a healthier coffee with great benefits. So go check them out at letsflyproducts.com.